We have all seen religious debates over and over again between both religious people having an argument about which religion is true, while we also have debates between religious people and atheist, and while I think that religious disputes are completely pointless and nothing good really ever come from it, because people have an obsession of leaving reason to the side and just wanting the team they are on to win. But about the many religious debates that have been held over the years, one of the most debated questions is the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and really, we almost never get anywhere with this debate. So today I'm going to be as unbiased as I can on this issue, and if I'm biased, you guys will call me out in the comment section anyway. So without further ado, please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Now let's get into it. Did archaeologists really find the remains and lost tomb of Jesus? If so, what would this mean for the future of Christianity? The tomb was discovered in 1980 on a hill in East Talpia, just south of Jerusalem. And on one of the osheries in the tomb reads a poorly carved inscription reading, Yeshua bar Yosef, meaning Jesus, son of Joseph. Were these really the remains of Jesus, who was said to have resurrected in the New Testament? Aside from the fact that the inscriptions themselves are very difficult to read, even if one was to concede that it does read Jesus, son of Joseph, to make any connection with Jesus who was from Nazareth is a large yoga stretch. Firstly, the name Jesus was the sixth most common name in the first century. And Joseph was the second most common name in the first century. And so to have these two names appear consecutively was not uncommon in the ancient world. It was also custom back then to have the deceased person's place of origin inscribed on the oshery if he was outside of Jerusalem. But there is no mention of Nazareth on this oshery. That is because he is risen just as he said. The guy in the previous video, I'm going to assume he was a Christian and he believed in Jesus Christ so good for him. But Jesus Christ's tomb was discovered. And not only was it discovered, but it was empty. Now we need an explanation for this because dead corpse doesn't just disappear because that's something that doesn't happen in nature. When we go back to find a dead person, their corpse is supposed to be there while their flesh should rotten away. But for Jesus, that isn't the case. The tomb is just empty. Nobody, no corpse, no Jesus laying there dead. So let's unpack that. Many people throughout the years have put forward many account of what happened to Jesus and by many I mean, Christians believe Jesus Christ rose from the dead like he said he would. Muslims don't even believe Jesus was crucified or resurrected, because Allah would never let that happen to a noble prophet like Jesus. And atheists proposed the idea that Jesus Christ's body was probably stolen. They also claim that maybe the resurrection was faked. The claim that at the time of Jesus the tomb maybe never existed. And to be very logical and reasonable about what happened, we have to put forward every idea of what happened. So here is a video of an atheist claim on Jesus' resurrection. Can I try something with you to get you to doubt? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that all right with you? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Let's call it naturalistic. What's the naturalistic explanation for the creed other than that Jesus actually rose from the dead? The naturalistic explanation for the creed on its own... Yeah, it would probably have to be lying. I, I can't think of... Or, you mentioned another thing for the flying men. That seems very unlikely, actually, given... I, I mean, I could get the text of it, but I, I don't Remember? see how it could be misinterpreted. Actually, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you've got a Remember point. Remember when we talked about the flying man, what's more likely, lying or a man actually flying? What's more likely, a body being stolen out of a tomb or someone rising from the dead and walking out of the tomb? Uh, body being stolen. Yeah. Right. It's more likely yeah, that a body. probably more likely. So he obviously doesn't believe Jesus rose from the dead because it is possible that Jesus' body was stolen. Now that explanation is vague and problematic and not necessarily grounded in logic because we all know that a man rising from the dead is something we cannot prove because we have never seen it happen before and it also defiles the laws of nature. We can accept that. But it is also not likely that Jesus' body was stolen. We have all heard murder crimes before, and people hiding dead bodies because they are covering up a crime that they don't want to go to jail for, or they don't want anyone to know what happened, and that is understandable, it not right, but nonetheless, it is a reason for hiding and stealing the body, probably even destroying it. But that is not the case for Jesus Christ. He was apparently publicly crucified, and everyone knew and wanted Jesus dead. This isn't like a murder crime. It was done in front of many people who watched until he died. Now there is no motive to steal the body to cover up a crime because everyone wanted him dead. 
So we still need a reason as to why they would steal the body because human beings aren't exactly frivolous. We almost always do things for a reason whether it is good or bad. Now we know that it is probably not likely that the apostle of Jesus lied because why would they keep this lie unto death? Because they were killed because they believe that Jesus Christ has risen. So we still need some explanation for it because Jesus' tomb is empty. So while it is unlikely that Jesus rose from the dead, it is also unlike that Jesus Christ's dead body was stolen, according to his situation, unless there are extremely sociopathic people in the world that had stolen the body to do something weird with it like sexual relations and I will leave in at that. But that also seem unlikely because we almost never hear of that happening ever. They also believed their God was crucified and had his life ended by men, even though previous versions of the Bible say this never happened, just like the Quran tells us. Christians even perform symbolically cannibalistic rituals in church every Sunday by drinking the blood via alcoholic wine and eating the flesh via stale bread of their man God. Furthermore, there is no statement to be found anywhere in the Bible where God is described as being three co-equal persons, Father, Son and Holy Ghost. This again comes from paganism, not the original Bible. Now the Muslims believe that Jesus wasn't crucified, but while there are accounts of people who say Jesus wasn't crucified, there are accounts of people who say he was crucified. Now the accounts of Jesus' resurrection exist, a tomb for Jesus exists, and it is empty, with no corpse, no Jesus' body, no nothing, just empty. And there are accounts that Jesus wasn't crucified. Now these stuff all exist because we aren't all hallucinating all at once, so we need some logical and reasonable explanation for why Jesus' tomb is empty. Because we all know that dead things don't just disappear, and the idea that his body was stolen also doesn't make any sense. Because we still need to know what the motive of these people are to steal Jesus' dead body, they got no money and no popularity but that of persecution, because they kept saying it unto death. And again we are back at square one. Jesus Christ is just a mysterious figure that no one can really explain unless you are a prophet of God or unless you are Christian and you believe he rose from the dead like he said he would. If you're an atheist, you give a lot of speculation about Jesus' empty tomb. And if you are of another religion, you also probably think differently about Jesus. Please comment your thoughts down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.